the waiting room. All right, it's my pleasure and my honor uh, to welcome you to the first ever OpenStreetMap US Connect 2020. Uh, my name is Maggie Pauley, and I am the executive director for OpenStreetMap US. Many of you uh, came to last night's kickoff mappy hour. It was great to, to meet new mappers and see old friends. Um, and for those of you who missed out, don't worry, we will have some time to socialize today as well. If you haven't heard of OpenStreetMap US, we are a US-based nonprofit and also a local chapter of the Global OpenStreetMap Foundation. Uh, our mission is to support, grow, and strengthen the OpenStreetMap use community and the OpenStreetMap project. The organization was founded in 2010 uh, to facilitate the annual State of the Map US conference. And over the past 10 years, we have grown in both our reach and our vision. As many of you know, uh, we canceled State of the Map US conference this year due to COVID-19, and it would have commenced next week in Tucson, Arizona. Um, COVID-19 has affected our lives in so many ways, and we've all changed the way we socialize, do business, and probably even shop for groceries but it has not changed our need to connect with others. And it was clear from uh, participation in our virtual map hours and um, in conversations with the community that folks still wanted a chance to connect with other mappers and hear what's going on in the OpenStreetMap US community. So we decided to hold our first and hopefully of many uh, virtual event. And here we are three months later. As we saw last night at the Mappy Hour, um, one of the silver linings of the virtual format is that we are able to gather together from all of our corners of the country and world and not have to take off our slippers. Um, so over the next few hours, we'll hear from 26 fantastic speakers and four panelists. We decided on mostly lightning talk format this year so we could accommodate as many speakers as possible and keep our audience on your toes. Time permitting, we will have short breaks every half an hour and a longer break at five o'clock. A little housekeeping, housekeeping. Um, all of the talks will be recorded and shared in a post event email to all of you as well. So if you have to leave and come back or can't stay for the entire time, don't worry, uh, you'll be able to see the talks later. Around six o'clock, you'll have the opportunity to break into rooms and get to know each other. Um, we'll be also nominating our favorite costume at that time. Uh, if there's still time to put something together because that'll happen in about four hours. So um, while you're watching, maybe you could be building your costume. There will also be breakout rooms for job seekers and employers, a room for those of you who are new to OpenStreetMap and um, rooms for everyone else. So also remember tomorrow, there will be 15 community facilitated sessions starting at 10.30 a.m. Eastern and going until 4 p.m. Eastern. Keep in mind, this is a casual event, uh, but please be kind and respectful of others and abide by our code of conduct while in this space. Um, there is going to be a hack pad linked with some general housekeeping information, including a link to our code of conduct um, and some other resources. You can check that out. If you have questions during the conference, please post them in the chat and we have wonderful volunteers who will help get them to the right speaker. It would be helpful if you could address your question to the speaker for whom you have the question, um, if possible. And if your question isn't answered, uh, we'll do our best to compile all the questions and ask the speakers to answer them and share them with you all after the conference. So don't worry about that. Um, as you saw at the beginning, we're a little delayed, but this is our first time trying this virtual conference format. So please be patient and bear with us. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to offer feedback, ideas, and nicely worded critiques um, in a survey that we'll share with you after the conference. Gosh, so there are a lot of people who came together to make this conference a reality and I'd like to take a minute to thank them. Um, first and foremost, without our volunteer planning committee, there would be no Connect 2020. And I'd like to thank the following people, um, Kiri Carini, Jess Bueller, Nellie Blair, Rob Choan, Clifford Snow, Stephen Johnson, John Gorman, Min Nguyen, Martine Van Ekpo, Joe Bellinger, Jubal Harpster, Mike Mugurski, Jess Kiskin, Russ Biggs, Siri Knudsen, and Guido Stein. You can see that's a lot of folks. Thank you for your help. Uh, it's been great working with all of you over the last couple months. Um, I'd also like to thank our presenting sponsor, Maxar, and our gold sponsors, Mapbox and Esri, our silver sponsors, TomTom Tom and Shared Streets, 
and our bronze sponsors, CART, MapGive, and Gaia GPS. Also, thank you, Critigen, for the Connect logo and University of Arizona for the use of your Zoom platform and the OpenStreetMap Foundation for the use of your platform, the glue button tomorrow. And finally, thanks to all of you for being here. Um, special thanks to you who donated when you registered. We are grateful for your support. And whether you are new to the map or have been part of the community for many years, um, I invite you to learn something, meet someone new, and enjoy a few hours break from the rest of the world. So with that, I'd like to introduce the 2020 OpenStreetMap US Board of Directors, uh, Min Nguyen, Jubal Harpster, Martin Van Exel, Alyssa Wright, and Danny walters Storfer. Over the next few minutes, we are going to share a little bit more about OpenStreetMap US, uh, the things we've been up to this year, and, and where we're headed. So Min, uh, with that, over to you. Thanks, Maggie. Um, my name is uh, Ming, and I'm, um, I'm happy to uh, join you all today for Connect 2020. Um, it's not exactly what we had planned to do at the beginning of this year, but um, it's better than nothing for sure. And I'm glad to see that there's so many of you here. Um, over the past year, uh, we've uh, really grown as an organization in terms of the things that we do. Um, and um, Maggie has a, has a lot to do with that. Um, and having, um, having uh, Maggie on board and really driving this organization forward has been a, uh, a big deal, including um, really getting this, uh, this process to completion for becoming a local chapter of OSMF. Um, as some of you may know, um, OpenStreetMap US has been around for a long time before pretty much any other local chapter, but we've never been uh, an official local chapter before. And um, that, uh, that status, um, really cements our relationship with the global community, um, with other local chapters, um, and sets us up to, uh, to participate in um, new things that are, that are going on in the future. Um, and really as a reflection of uh, our, uh, our kind of outward looking um, vision for the future, um, we're, looking for, uh, we're looking to redesign our website. Um, if you've looked at it before, it's uh, pretty staid, it's been the same for some years now, um, and um, we're, uh, we have an RFP out for a new website, so that's uh, uh, look, look, for, look for changes in that area. And um, I guess I'll hand it off to Alyssa. Hi all, uh, welcome. It is a pleasure to be here um, and um, a pleasure um, to, well, to be with you all. Um, of, of things that we've been doing on the board side, um, one thing that I really want to acknowledge um, and also celebrate is that um, our, our leader, um, uh, Maggie, has moved from an interim um, role to the official executive director, first ever executive director of OpenStreetMap US. Um, and so I'm sure you, yeah, you joined me with jazz hands um, and emojis um, and lots of clapping because she really has been an inspiration um, to us and the board. Um, I'm sure an inspiration to you all um, as a community. And so I think representative of the, the growth that we've seen um, over the year of, of OpenStreetMap US. Um, and that's pretty remarkable, again, during this time of unprecedented um, uh, stuff, um, uh, whether that's, uh, whether that's uh, COVID or social unrest or, um, or fires and climate change. I mean, the list goes on and on, but again, um, uh, the, I think community here um, and the work that uh, Maggie has been doing um, and has only been growing. So uh, we've been able to even expand the number of people we've been able to hire um, with Maggie's leadership. Um, our community and numbers and uh, like social media impact have also expanded. And so I think um, uh, we, at least for myself, like I am very, you know, inspired that I'm part of a community um, and part of uh, leadership um, of a of a of a team that's that's moving with momentum um, and excitement on something that's so important to us all. And with that, I will pass it over uh, to my colleague uh, Jubal Harper, board colleague. Hi, everybody. Uh, Jubal Harpster. I'm based up here in Seattle. Uh, I've been on the board for about nine months, taking over the treasurer duties from Ian. 
So I get the very exciting task of doing the OSWS organization taxes. Um, in addition to that, we've been working with Maggie on the US government committee, um, which is really a, an initiative um, that Maggie is spearheading to try to let the governments in the US get greater adoption of OSM and also be able to contribute back to OSM. Um, we're also looking at different ways to grow the organizations and different strategies um, to diversify the, the types of funding that the organization gets. And so we get into a, a, a more stable footing in the, in the years ahead. Um, with that, I'm going to pass it over to my colleague, uh, Danny. Okay, now I'm unmuted. Great. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Danny. I would like to echo every phrase and comment of phrase for Maggie. I won't repeat everything that was said, but just thanks, Maggie, for everything. Um, I'll talk about, about the, the code of conduct. This year, we developed a code of conduct thanks to an amazing code of conduct committee composed of. Uh, let me see. One second. Emily Arrows, Erica Hagen, Clifford Snow, Jonna Atkins, and of course, Maggie. Uh, the Code of Conduct was pretty much made so that we could continue supporting um, diversity and inclusion here at OpenStreetMap US. And it's important to note that it was specifically made for everything related to OSM US. So um, we're governing OSM US forums, community events, including this one. So this is a safe space and we want to promote that. And please be, please follow the Code of Conduct. It's on the wiki page. I can provide a link for it later. And so feel safe. That's one of our great accomplishments and I hope that um, it provides a safer place for everyone. And now I'm gonna pass it to my colleague, Martin the next one. Thanks, Danny. Um, I'll keep this short because we're running already a little bit late because of the rocky start we had. Um, I just wanted to highlight, um, like, thank you for taking a break from mapping uh, to be here. Uh, it's also nice to talk about mapping. I think uh, one final thing to highlight from what we've done, what we've done this year is, uh, is the charter program that was just announced on the blog. With that, we're really trying to um, build a closer connection to projects and programs and um, services that are close to OpenStreetMap and OpenStreetMap US in, in particular. Um, they will be able to benefit from, yeah, from being under our uh, umbrella as a nonprofit and also um, to support our mission uh, more, more directly and we will be able to support them. So if you have a program or a project uh, that you think might be, uh, as a project you might be interested in joining this, this is now open. I invite you to go to osm.us, openstreetmap.us, sorry, I don't think we own that domain, um, uh, to uh, look at the blog and the, the latest blog post has the, has the info. If you receive the newsletter, it's been on there as well. Um, so I think um, I think we're all eager to get started. So I'm going to hand it back off to Maggie to uh, to get us started with uh, with the first block of of speakers. Thanks.